Hello, welcome to SQL02Pro.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about null equality. The null is a very important attribute of a relational database, and it's important that you understand the behavior of null. So, null indicates absence of a value. We already know that from the last tutorial. Null is not a value itself. Okay, so that means a null cannot re really be compared with another value. So comparison of a null with a value neither results in true nor results in false. Okay, so if you focus on the top left box here null is equal to 1 results in null it's not going to result in false null is not equal to 1 is also going to result in null it's not going to result in false now compare that with the normal condition 1 is equal to 1 results in true 1 is not equal to 1 results in false okay so this resulting of a condition in, in null complicates things now even null cannot be compared to another null so null is equal to null is not true it's going to result in null okay the whole the whole condition is going to result in null okay so null is not equal to null it's not going to result in false it's going to result in null okay so if the where clause is resulting in null that row will not be selected for display the row will only be selected for display if it's resulting in true if the whole all the conditions combined together resulting in false or null the row will not be selected for display so it's important for you to understand because uh, before this tutorial you already you only knew that the whole where clause can either result in true or false now you know that the whole where clause can be result into null as well okay so uh, that's why the null values has to be uh, handled carefully otherwise you don't want where clause to be resulting in null you want the where clause to either result in true or false okay so uh, anyway so bringing null into the picture uh, results into some uh, into a concept called three valued logic and opponents of null basically present this logic uh, to op uh, to attack the relational theory okay so they said three valued logic complicates things so we already know that if you look at this matrix here and uh, focus on this end uh, operator here so true and true is true right and true and false is false we already know that so if you put bring null into the equation like for example true and null is not either false or true it's simply null similarly false and null is simply null as well so that's uh, uh, that's basically uh, brings complication into the picture now if you uh, similarly if you talk about or uh, or operator here uh, or operator behaves kind of differently than the end operator so if you talk about or operator true or basically true or true is true similarly true or false is true as well but if you bring null into the equation then true or null is true and false or null is null okay so it's kind of a different behavior than and because if you combine uh, if you apply null with or operator with true it's going to result in true but in, in case of and operator if you apply null on true with and operator it's not going to result in true it's going to result in false okay so now we have a three by three matrix and this basically uh, is a big uh, uh, problem as uh, posed by the opponents of null theory uh, attributed to the relational database okay instead of two by two matrix we have three by three matrix anyway so once you understand how to handle null in the next tutorial your whole focus would be to avoid this uh, uh, this uh, null uh, uh, basically the where clause shouldn't be resulting into null okay it should be the result in true or false so that's pretty much it now I'm gonna log into uh, this ap application express and I'm gonna show you some example of complication that null can bring in okay select so start from employee so let's see what we have um, uh, this is the data we have right now in the picture okay so now if I go like start from employee where previous salary is equal to null okay now I'm comparing the previous salary column with null okay so if null would be behaving like a normal value then I should see record number six but if all whatever I said in my lecture is true then record number six should not be displayed in the result okay so you see no data found because technically speaking let me do a select all on employee again technically speaking this null is not equal to the null I have placed here okay so Oracle is gonna scan all the table from top to bottom 
so first oracle is going to visit row number one and it's going to compare it's 800 is equal to null and the condition is going to result in null it's not going to result in true or false so if the whole where clause is resulting in null for that row that row is not going to be selected okay similarly oracle is going to reach here is now going to oracle is going to compare this null with this null or is going to say is null in this column is equal to the null uh, in the condition is it the condition is going to result in null and this row is not going to be selected as well in the display so similarly you can see I can apply the not equal to null condition as well and uh, the answer is same no data found because anything compared uh, put in this condition anything not equal to null is going to result in null and that row is not, is not going to be selected for display okay so even let's say I change the the current salary of Aisha Hassan to uh, let's say update employee set salary is equal to null where ID is equal to six okay so I'm making current salary to null as well for Aisha Hassan let's take a look at all the data in employee table now both salaries current and previous year salary are null so now if I'm gonna write a SQL like this where salary is equal to previous salary now technically I should be able to see if null would be behaving like a normal value I should be able to see record number six so let's see no data found okay so this basically uh, clarifies the concept I gave you in the tutorial I see you in the next tutorial